What's going on YouTube? It is John from Cali Vaping and I apologize for not making a video in a very long time. A lot of shit has went down and yeah. So right now I'm rocking a Evod with a Pro Tank 3. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Alright. I'm rocking a Pro Tank 3 mini with an Evod right now and it's got a custom drip tip on here because my friend kind of broke his T3D Kinger Tech. And he was like, he was going to throw it away, and I was like, nah, let me have that. So then he gave me the broken tank, because like the bottom part broke off, I guess, and I just took the drip tip. <sighs> right now I'm vaping some Cali Berry 24 milligrams in here. It's pretty good, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is this bad boy right here. This is the iTaste MVP 2.0, and I have already opened this box, but I guess I'll do a little unboxing for you, so... When you get it, you can open off the top. I don't have the top part, sorry, but comes out. The new back it used to say taste to love it. Now it says Inakin technology leading the future. So you click it three times, turn it on. And when you get it, it should say if it would. Is it on? Yeah. So press both buttons. You'll see that it says no atomizers on there and the charge. So if I can try to get to focus. I press it. It says non. It's not wanting to focus, but yeah. So you take it out. You get to take this part off. Comes with the user manual. Incan technology. Stickers and a hundred dollars. Well, if you pay an extra hundred dollars. But yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it literally looks like this, but that's a bit neater. This has slick wrap on it. I peeled it off. iClear 30, drip tip, which probably looks a lot better, and the skirt. So I'll go ahead and assemble this for you guys. So it comes with um, an adapter, or not an adapter, but like a beauty ring. If you like vaping tanks like the iClear, you want to hit it and um, want it to just cover up the threads. So that's what you'd use it for. Comes with this charging port, which comes with um, iPhone 4s and below charger, um, my, uh, micro USB and a nano USB. Or I don't know if I'm getting these right, but whatever. This charges like digital cameras. This charges like Android phones. So, as you guys can see, I've used this iClear before. The wicks are already coated, but I, yeah. So, pop this on here. And it's gonna look like this. You're gonna be like, whoa, what the fuck's a drip tip? But the drip tip's in here and this little slick wrap thingy, so might as well. It's kinda hard to get off, so. Peel it off, screw it on. And let's go ahead and fill this bad boy with one of my favorite personal flavors. I'll show it to you guys in just a second if I can open this. It is. Of course, by Freedom Smoke USA, 36 milligrams, of course, you know me. And it's called Glacier, and it is the iciest flavor you will ever vape on. So, let's go ahead and give this bad boy a fill, won't we? I'm only going to fill it up to about 2.0 mils, maybe a little bit over, could be wrong. And, since the wicks are already coated, I can give this thing a vape. So... This thing, this battery right here, comes with variable voltage and variable wattage. So, what you're going to do to change the voltage is you hold down the bottom button. It'll say one puff. And 3.3 volts. So, you press it down and turn it up. This thing will not focus for the life of it. So, I'm going to turn it up to about a 4.7 volts because I like they've been pretty hot. And... The wattage is from 6 to 11 watts, so let's go ahead and give it a pop. And I've had this thing for about, actually, a week tomorrow, or a week, two weeks tomorrow. I cannot remember. I'm pretty sure it's a week, but I love this thing. It's really, really good. It comes in handy. It has the bottom charger, of course, which you can charge external devices on with any USB where you plug it in. And... Right here, where you turn off and on the output. Some of the things I really want to get in the iTaste MVP 3 is what I'm looking forward to the most because I love the MVP. I'm actually going to order the first edition just to collect them because it's the type of guy I am. But So this thing can only go up to 11 watts, which is getting pretty low since, you know, atomizers are getting a lot more popular than they used to. 
and tanks are or the resistance is getting lower and lower so you might want to pump up the voltage or wattage um, I'm pretty sure I read up on it and Anakin has released not released it but released some specs about it um, it's supposed to have this has a um, 28 milliamp hour battery in it 27 I believe I don't don't mark my words on that but yeah it's supposed to have um 36,000 or not 36,000 3,600 milliamp hours in it it's supposed to go up to 30 watts which is almost two times as much as this or three times as much as this my bad and 7.5 watts which would be really dope and I would love to get that but let's go ahead and pop it up to 11 watts so I can show you how it works in the wattage mode Works pretty good. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Any comments, leave them in the below too. Yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, and that is it. This is John, and you're watching Kelly Vaping. See you guys later.